Hi. Have you ever read a book, non-fiction, where you're trying to learn something? You read it all the way through and you think you understand what the author is saying to you. And to some extent you do. You've picked up some information from the book. But this author might have dedicated 10, 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years of thinking, pondering, ruminating, researching, so that he or she can write that book. And you read it through once and think you've gleaned all that it has to offer. Read it through a second time and you usually get more out of it. Put it aside for a year or two, read it again, and you get even more out of it. This book here, Neil Donald Walsh's book, Conversations with God, book one. Now, when you're looking at a book which is being dictated by the hand of God through a automatic writer, there's lots of profundity in that book. You will get more and more out of it each time you read it. I am now reading Conversations with God, book one through for the twelfth time. And each time I get more and more out of it. Let me give you an example. In the book, there is mention about the difference between doing and being. And that doing is far less important than being. In fact, being is the only thing which is important. So it's not what we do in our life. It's what we are in our life, what we are being. And he gives an example of two people of equal ability. He says, for example, this is God speaking here. Imagine that there are two people. They are both very intelligent young men. They go to the same type of college. They're both at the top of their class. They're both academically first class. And then they go into business. One man fails and the other man succeeds. They start the same sort of business. They both have perfect locations in which to start this business. But one person is concentrating on doing what they are doing as far as the business is concerned. The other is putting their emphasis on being. The one who is doing is doing okay, but the one who is being is really succeeding. What is the one who is being doing? What is the one who is being doing? He is being cheerful, generous, open-hearted, friendly to customers. His whole attitude, and this is the important thing, his attitude is one of being loving, being generous, being kind, being, con being considerate to his customers. The other one is thinking only of profit, money, being grumpy. How's the business going and so forth? How it is it is doing? So here's the difference. Being is coming from the person's soul. Doing is coming from the person's mind, their intellect. We need to put our emphasis on being, because what we are being, we are drawing to ourselves. Being is far more important than doing. I spent most of my life, most of my working life, trying to find that job which would give me satisfaction, and I was always thinking about doing what I would be doing. But that isn't important. It is what you are being. What you are being, it doesn't matter what work you are doing in the world. It is what you are being in that job, in that vocation, in that professionalism, whatever it might be. Being is important. Doing, well, that follows from what you are being.